Hello everybody, welcome back to Viking MTG, and uh, today I'm doing a box of Return to Ravnica, and I would like to issue a challenge to Mr. Bevers, been a patron of his for a long time now, and uh, remember he's had a challenge or two with other YouTubers, and uh, I'd like to issue a challenge to Mr. Bevers on Return to Ravnica, see if we can get the best EV effective value using TCG Market on uh, the Return to Ravnica box. If you want to take me up on it, Bevers, that's great. If not, that's fine too. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this. We'll see how we do. I am going to do just the just the sauce because besides um, Shocklands, there isn't much value in this set. Oh, this box is, oh, plastic's twice as thick. Jeesh. All right. There's not much else other than the Shocklands. I think there's Planeswalker that's on the map, uh, but not a whole lot else. So let's get started. I know when I opened this product, when it came out, averaged three to four Shocklands. I think I had a six Shockland box once. All right, so we have a Swamp, a Sapling Token, and a hypersonic dragon. I'm gonna do just the sauce because there's essentially nothing in the commons uh, other than like shock that I'd pull out and use in another deck in a deck. But uh, as far as value, there's really nothing in commons and uncommons. A forest, there's nothing worth taking the time to show on here. A knight. And a Havoc Festival. I do remember in this color, there's a, this uh, set, there's a lot of multicolor cards. There's a lot of two color cards in this. A lot of rainbow color, I guess you could say it. Remember the old school uh, magic sets? There were actually rainbow, the, the cards, let's see if I have one in here. The multicolor cards actually had a, like a rainbow look. I'm not sure if I have any in here. Uh, I don't believe I do. No, there's surprisingly no, none in here. But uh, the old cards had like a rainbow color look. That was the, uh, the at my last time I exited this box, which I still haven't looked up the price of those. I will soon here. I'll do them the, the, the old fashioned way. All right. First on common is the Thought Flare. A Psychic Spiral, a Rakdos Crackler, I have that in foil, and a Death's Presence. Death's Presence is uh, five and a green. It's an enchantment. Whenever a creature you control dies, put X11 counters on target creature you control. Rax is enough power of the creature that died. That's a pretty cool card. That and a winding constrictor, that could get fun. And a bunch of tokens. Forest. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. It's missing a bunch of ink. That's crazy looking. They just forgot to put the ink right there. <laughs> I saw that when I was looking at the card. All right. That's that's wild. That might go on the uh, that might sell as an error. To see about putting that on the bay. Uh, Sphere of safety. Skymark rock. Xanakiv locust and a grove of the guardian. This is not a. Uh, this is not a shock land. But grove of the guardian is a land. Um, Tap to add one, to your, one colorless to your mana pool. If you play three, a green, and a white, tap two untapped creatures you control. Sacrifice Grover the Guardian. Put an 80 green and white elemental creature token with vigilance onto the battlefield. That sounds tough. And we have a goblin token. An 8 8 is always good. There, my AC actually shut off so you guys don't hear the hum. It's getting really hot here. It's going to be a. Uh, 109 by the end of this week. 
So this time of year, the AC just it has to run almost all day to keep keep the house even at like 78. Bluster Squall, Dreg Mangler, Golgari Decoy, and a Dread Boar is our rare. And an island. First, the dream here is uh, foil shock lands, but that is not highly likely. We shall see. I've had a lot of good luck lately. Uh, we have a gutter snipe. This actually is a good card. That might be actually worth a couple bucks. It's a it's a three mana goblin shaman for it's a two two. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, gutter snipe deals two damage to each opponent. So, in a burn deck, that could get out of control really fast. I do believe this is worth a couple bucks. It might. I'm not sure. <clears throat> a Hero's Reunion. A Hover Barrier. And a Gerard, Golgari Lich Lord. That's our first Mythic. He's actually... I think he's worth a couple bucks. I, ha I thought I had one of him at some point. I'm not sure if I have it anymore. Might have traded it away or something. Oh, I think we have a foil. And that's a foil land. <laughs> I see a foil land at the back of the box. Alright, so we have an Aqua Steed, Blister Coil Leard, Teleportal, and Arachdos's Return. So we got our second Mythic. An Ooze Token. A mountain. And we have a foil forest. It's a pretty forest, but fortunately not the foil we're looking for. But we still got a ways to go. I don't believe there's much in the mythic slot in this set. Um, there just isn't. The value didn't hold up here. We have a Slum Reaper. Sorry guys, dog's about to start drinking water. A Rick's Matty Guildgate. An Ultimate Price. And a Loxodon Smiter. A Junk Token. And a Mountain. I guess it's time to eat her food too. So we have a race course fury, an is it key rune, a new prov guild mage, and an ash zealot. A planes and a junk token. Sorry about the dog chomping in the background. Fortunately. Not a lot I can do about it. Um, we have a Race Course Fury, an Is It Key Rune, a Vitu Gauze Guild Mage, and Chaos Imps. That's a cool card. Six mana, six five with flying. Uh, it has Unleash. You may have this creature enter the battlefield with a 1 1 counter on it. It can't block as long as it has a 1 1 counter on it. And it has Trample as long as it has a 1 1 counter on it. So that's, that's pretty nifty. Let me get us the second, guys. I'm gonna do something here. Come here. All right, took the dog's food out in the living room. <laughs> Problem solved. All right. All right. It's funny, she waits until I come home from work and then starts eating. She's always done that. I don't know if that's normal if you got dogs and they do that, but uh, yeah. Only one foil so far. Uh, we have a Phantom General, a Golgari Key Rune, a Fencing Ace, and a Varaska the Unseen. Very nice. We got the Varaska Planeswalker. That's awesome. It's well centered. It's a pretty card. 
Uh, she's five mana for a five. I believe that's the exact same as the Baraska Planeswalker in uh, Rivals. Or in uh, regular Exelon. Uh, she, her plus one is until the next turn. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to Baraska the Unseen, destroy that creature. So go ahead and swing at her. Um, minus three, destroy target non-land permanent. Minus seven, put three one one black assassin creature tokens onto the battlefield with whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. That's a wicked card. Good hit right there. That's awesome. I don't know what it's worth. I think it's probably in the six or eight dollar range, but that's a cool card. Very happy to get that. All right. Oops, wrong pile. Pour with my piles. There we go. We have a Savage Surge, a Slitherhead, a Psychic Spiral, and a Pithing Needle. Very nice. We hit a Pithing Needle. Alright. We've hit most of the the good rares in this set, which is good, and a good mythic. Uh, we have a Codex Shredder, a Gobbling Ooze, an Is It Staticaster, and a Necropolis Regent as our third mythic. So we got all our mythics very early, and we do have a foil here. Junk Token, Island, and a Foil Archweaver. Gave myself heat exhaustion this weekend. It was a lot of fun. Laying pavers all weekend. I was just out in the heat too long. I drank plenty of water, but I guess it just wasn't enough. Um, Soul Tithe. Bizarre Crobod. And Azorus Charm. And Supreme Verdict. It's a good card. I don't know how much value it has left, but it's a good card. It's been a pretty good box so far. I'd just like to get a Shock Lane. I haven't seen a single one yet. Five myth, four mythics, that's pretty good. I'd, I'd estimate we won't get any more, but I could be wrong. An Oak Street Innkeeper. Did that again. Azorus Justicar. New Prob Guild Mage. And a Cyclonic Rift. For some reason I'm thinking that has value. I'm not sure though. Centaur token and a planes. We have a Civic Saber, a Slitherhead, a Blood Freight Giant, and a Precinct Captain. Junk token and a mountain. Our precinct captain is pretty cool. He's a uh, two white mana for a two two with first strike, and whenever he deals combat damage to a player, put a one one white. I think I've pulled him before in another and a uh, one of everything. Interesting. That was the strangest misprint. Almost as strange as my uh, uh, concealed courtyard. Almost. We have a Minotaur Aggressor, a Celestia Key Rune, a Soul Sworn Spirit, and a Niv Magus Eternal. That's crazy art. That's wild. He's a 1 mana 1-2. One, Exile an instant or sorcery spell you control. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on Niv Magus Elemental. That spell won't resolve. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Just have a spell. Any a one a one mana instant in your hand. I throw this away and now he's beating you in the face. That's a cool card. I'm sure there's something in modern that's better than him, but I don't know what it is. It seems every time I think a, a card would be good in modern, I find out 
there's something everybody else plays that's better. Seems to be a very exclusive group of cards that fit in the modern. I think we have a foil in this one. Yep, we do. Alright, so we have a security blockade, fall of the gavel, an is it static caster, and a slaughter games. Better not end up with a no fit no uh, shock land box. We have a swamp and a sundering growth. It's a cool looking card. I said before on this channel, I love foils. I absolutely love foils. Got another gutter snipe, which I think is worth something. I'm pulling them out, it just seems really cool. A hover barrier, a risen sanctuary, and a mana bloom. That's a pretty cool card. Mana bloom, um, he's, it's one green and X. Um, he enters the battlefield with X, it enters the battlefield with X charge counters on it. Remove a charge counter from mana bloom. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Activate, activate this ability only once each turn. Basically allows you to adjust your mana however you like. Um, uh, yeah, it returns to your hand if it has no counters on it. That's interesting. That's a very interesting card. Alright, no foil here. We have a Fairy Imposter, an Arrest, a Rakdos Rage Mutt, and a Temple Garden. There's our first Shock Land, Temple Garden. That's very nice. And it's in great shape. Beautiful. No misprint, no off centering. Very nice. I'm separating that. Sweet. So, one so far. And we're well over halfway through the box. Can we get a string of them? Let's see. One thing I have learned opening boxes over the years, never discount a box, never think it's over. An Archweaver, a Golgari Decoy, a Soul Sworn Spirit, and a Pack Rat. Not sure of the value on that, but rats are always fun. Pack rats' power and toughness are e equal to the number of rats you control. You pay three, discard a card, put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of Pack Rat. And that's a pretty cool card, actually. It's pretty awesome. Go great into my rack deck, I'm fat deck. Unfortunately, it's a standard deck. I don't think anybody would appreciate that at FNM. A Rakdos Charm, a Vandal Blast. Or Court Oz de Gilgate and a Search the City. Alright, so we have a foil in this pack. It's a green foil. A Tavern Swindler. A Celestia Charm. Judge's Familiar. And an Archon of the Trimvirate. Trimvirate? I don't know how to say that. I'm not even going to try and say it again. Junk card and a forest. And a giant growth foil. So we can turn our Flying Archon the turn bait into a 7 8 with flying. That'd be pretty useful. Run pile. Alright, so we have an Archweaver, another one. Scarring Mark Rock, an Ultimate Price, and Palisade Giant. 
rhino token and a forest. And I'm doing something. Gotta show her off. Take her out on the town. She's pretty. I'm sorry, is that politically incorrect? Alright, no foil here. I have a Sphere of Safety, an Azorus Justicar, a Golgari Charm, and an Aspera Supreme Judge. So that's our fifth Mythic. Five Mythic Box, not bad. Unfortunately, I want Shock Lands. Centaur and a Forest. Getting low here. Let's see how this turns out. We have a foil. We have a goblin rally. Call the Conclave. Vidu Godzi Guild Mage. And an Underworld Connections. These are rare. Junk Token. A Plains. And a Vashino Racketeer. I still have not seen a uh, foil rare here. So the hope is alive for a foil, uh, foil shock land. I'd just like another regular shock land. One shock land box would be pretty cruddy. Seeing this is the only box I could find in town. I believe there's uh, some on TCG. I have a Celestia Kivrin. A Street Sweeper, a Cardoza Guild Mage, and a Desecration Demon. No foil. Dragon Token. If I'm not crazy, we have a foil here. Yep, we have a foil. We have a Slim Reap, Slum Reaper, a Lay of Sky Knight, a Pyro Convergence, and a Volatile Rig. Junk, an Island, and a Skymark Rock. Four packs to go. Need some magic here. Another foil. Probably our full rare. We have a Rakdos Kivrun, a Rogue's Passage, a Giant Militant, and a Sixth Mythic World Spine Worm. Junk Token, Planes, and another Foil Common, Dagger Drone Imp. I'm gonna turn a light on here. I have a feeling the light's a little low. Alright. No foil here. Hellhole Flare. Thrill Kill Assassin, a Rakdos Cackler, and a Wild Beastmaster. Junk Token Island. I'm gonna do something real quick here, guys. Didn't realize how low my phone was, and I don't want to lose this recording halfway through. So I am going to quickly plug my phone in. Give me 10 seconds. I use my phone to record. It's the best tech I have. For recording, it does just fine. It's actually what eBay actually recommends. I mean, not eBay, uh, YouTube recommends it. Um, they consider it to be the most convenient, cost efficient way to, uh, to film YouTube videos. Sorry, I hope nobody puked there. All right, sorry, we're back in business. I won't be losing the video. All right, sorry, I miscounted. I have six packs to go. And six mythic box. It'd be great if they were worth a little more. We 
we have a foil in this pack. I don't know what it is, but it's a gold foil. Rick's Mahdi Guildgate, Brush Strider, and Nivix Guild Mage, and a Wayfaring Temple. Soldier Token, Mountain, and a tr we have a foil mythic. A Trostani Selenia's voice. Selesnia's voice. Very nice. Foil mythic. I'll definitely take that. So eight foils, including a foil mythic. So we got six six mythics and a foil mythic. Minotaur Aggressor, Street Spasm, Soul Sworn Spirit, and an Abrupt Decay. Junk and a Swamp. No foil. An Aqua Steed, a Drev Mangler. A bizarre Kovad and a grave betrayal. I need to think we're gonna have a one shockland box. I really hope not. But it's looking that way. We have a foil here. Hopeful. I mean foil. Traditionally, foil mythics do not count till your foil rare count. So, Savage Surge, Arrest, a Sanko Fate, and a Firemind's Foresight. A Centaur token. I guess there's no foil in here. I thought there was. And a Mountain. Foil. We have a Civic Saber, an Azorus Key Rune, a Tablet of the Guilds, and we have a late Shockland Blood Crypt. Nice. Ended up with two. Can we make it three? Foil. We have a Celestia Charm, a Pyro Convergence, a Slime Molding, and a Mizium Mortars. So, two Sharkland box, ouch. But with the six Mythics, or the Foil Mythic, we might have done okay here. Blood Crypt and Temple Garden. So, not a, it would be a really good box at uh, release, but um, right now, Probably not super by any means, but uh, I'll check it out and I'll update. I'll do a little clip at the end and update what it's worth. And uh, hopefully, Mr. Bevers will take me up on the challenge. Looks like he'll win, but we'll see. Everybody have a, uh, a wonderful rest of your week.